this is our dedicated med surge unit that has COVID. So we have our dedicated CCU for COVID patients, but then this is the, the other level of care basically. Um, it, it originally came about, I think, for two reasons. One is we initially had the most amount of negative pressure rooms, so that was one reason. And then I, I truly believe that A3 was sort of thought about as this is a group of staff that have managed change well. Like when introducing new kind of scary ideas, they, they handle it very well. And um, as scary as this was, they really have done amazing. Of course, we'd heard about already like the scenarios in the world, in the country, and we knew that it was coming this way. We, we knew. Um, but I can remember the day that my boss ran here and uh, Jen Boaz, because she's in emergency management, and sort of was like, Teresa, this is happening. We're going to do this today. We're going to start. And my inside my head, I was like, okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We got this. We can do this. And we pulled the team together, and we talked that initial team through what this looks like and what we're going to do to prepare. And that first week was the same thing. Every single day was something new and changing. And it was so important to stay constantly in communication with people because it was terrifying. I've never seen anything like this before. Obviously, you know, flu season in the nursing home was a pretty stressful time just because it's such a, you know, compromised population. So they would always take like a lot of extra precaution there for that. But this is still absolutely crazy. <laughs> we do see a lot of patients with precautions on our floor, especially because we deal with anything like infectious. But I would take any of those infections over this one um, because this is like double, triple the amount of precautions for everything. It's just, it takes a lot of time and a lot of care to make sure that this is not spreading. After, after the initial fear, the first one, like the very first positive that we had, it was okay after that point. Like it was, it was, you, we needed to see that first one to see, okay, we can do this. These are patients just like any other patient that we're gonna care for and we're, get, we're gonna get well enough and get them out of here. Um, and then now it's, it's just our, it's just what we do. We have become the experts per se at it. And it's such a rewarding feeling when someone actually does do really well. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty exceptional. Um, it's a really good feeling. I feel much more comfortable with it now than when we first started. Definitely like a few weeks ago when you were here, you, we've gotten more into a routine of it and you know, um, everyone is just making themselves more available to help everyone else because once you're in that room, you don't want to come out and go back in. So you know, there's always someone who's kind of walking around to see, do you need anything? Can I get you anything? Is there anything that I can do for you and everyone's just very willing to help out and just make sure you're doing your buddy system and make sure that you're taking your stuff off appropriately and everyone is just kind of checking everyone else. If you ask me, it is quite scary, especially some people who has family. I have a one-year-old at home. I have to take care, I have to protect myself, not only myself, but I have also a family at home that, you know, I have to protect as well. At first, it is quite scary and, you know, it makes you scared as a healthcare worker what's going to happen if I contract it and I give it to my child and I give it to my whole family. But at the same time, we, I, I have to think it's my profession. This is what I've been doing and I just have to accept what it is and I'm sure God will take care of the rest. <laughs> because I think there's that feeling of this is why I chose this. Um, I, at first there was like an initial scare that maybe we didn't, we weren't going to have all the PPE that we needed. We have. We have always had everything we've needed. I always have the stock. They know where to get it. Um, so that fear, I would say, is not, not here anymore. Um, the staff know that they are putting themselves at risk, but I feel like they know that they're just as at risk if they're out in the community. So as long as we're practicing the precautions that we should be pr practicing with our masks and hand washing, we're doing everything we should be doing and, and we've been, um, I, I feel like people feel safe and, but this is why they chose this profession. This is why I chose it. You know, I was talking to someone yesterday and I said, I feel fortunate that I am the parent at home that gets to leave and go do the good work. Like I'm not stuck at home wishing I could do something to help. I actually get to leave and, and put in effort to, to make, make our community better and make sure that the nurses have what they need to make their community better. Um, it's, been, it's been pretty remarkable.